Howdy, and welcome back to another live coding session. Um, as always, I'd like to show where we left off and talk about what we're planning on doing today. So let me bring up the fire strength. Um, so the goal for today is actually going to be to clean up these UI sprites to make them um, perfectly square. So the resolution should look correct. I also kind of preferred recipes on the side, inventory on the bottom. So I'm going to try to mess around with Kayak a little bit and get just the UI looking closer to what I actually want. Um, and I think my main goal is actually to be able to, I say this every week, it'd be nice if I could actually, I don't know what it takes to craft the campfire, but it'd be nice to be able to put the campfire on the ground and actually have it spawn one of these fire effects. Um, I also need to show the number of each item on the button, which could be interesting. It might not be something I want to tackle today, but I think that's my main goal. And my idea is we've been going on for about nine episodes now, so it'd be nice if like every 10 or so, I might do one today to just clean up the code, document it all, and then create like a 10 minute unscripted video where I just kind of walk through all the code, how the game is done, and make it more approachable to people because it's it'd be unwieldy unwieldy to ask someone to come in and watch, you know, fifteen hours of me just talking and coding to understand the project. So I think I want to do just a quick recap of what we've done, and then hopefully if we keep doing this for the next couple of years, every ten episodes we'll have a short recap that we can go back and just see how much the project grew. It's been quite... I'm also just going to clean up all these clippy warnings while I sit here and talk. Um, it's been quite some time since I last touched this project. Uh, just because life has been very busy and I actually kind of want to keep this and hectic. So I apologize for, I guess, just being gone for... What is this complaining about? Yeah, not being around much for June. And unfortunately, I think life is going to be about just as hectic in July. So uh, I'm trying to get a lot of videos pre-recorded now. You'll probably see the date here is July 1st, but this won't be up for a good bit. Let me look at what this error is. Oh, it implements copy. Sure. Um, yeah, so I, I, I'm trying to stay on top of this channel, but, you know, life just is getting in the way recently. Hopefully, come November, I will be, I'll have nothing to do except this channel. Like, my girlfriend's going back to Antarctica, and I will be home alone, able to completely focus on this. Um, matching against a single thing, sure. So if let UI event type craft event item equals this, delete that, delete this, and probably one of those, if I had to guess. Yeah. Yeah, so I apologize that there wasn't much that came out um, during June. I did do the live streams, which are currently on a uh, playlist hidden on my channel, so I don't know. It just feels like I didn't do as much as I should have for the past month, and I'm just using this intro time while I get warmed up and um, familiarized with the code base again to, I guess, apologize. Uh, unnecessary to vec. So I can just delete this. Sure. Mm-hmm. And what's this last one? Oh, probably another. Uh, if let UI event type craft event. Oh, inventory event this time. I might want to make like some cool diagrams. I, I've been wanting to try to visualize. Um, let me semicolon. 
I've been wanting to visualize uh, Bevy games for a while and come up with a way to like show what systems are in use by what. Or, I guess that doesn't make sense. What components are used in which systems and how they interact. So I kind of want to mess around with that just on my own downtime. So I believe we now have a clean slate. Oh, beautiful. I'm just going to add this as a clippy commit. Oh, and I also did a cargo update. I'm uh, sure push. Cool. So that was five minutes of chores and me rambling. Let's um, let's look at the UI widget. These are kind of, I don't know, in my mind these videos are me just working and like video diarying, video diarying out, you know, different things in my life and my opinions on the channel and code and whatnot. So sorry if that's uh, uninteresting to people who just want to see Rust Gross as Biffy image. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hmm, okay. So the button style, actually, I believe I made this commit, can now be transparent. Let's get running. Do I have, let me make sure dynamic is in this project. Oh, features dynamic. I also have seen the new material system, which I'm very excited to try out. Okay, oh wait, pick up. What button did I just make transparent? What are you? This is for an item. The red is one. Oh, this doesn't do anything. Okay. I just uploaded the kayak um, UI video. I haven't made a thumbnail for it yet. So I should know how to do this. Why are you not coloring my button? Because I do get the image handle. And I put the image in the button. I think if I square this out, it actually solves the riddle. Does this color not actually, it's background color. Ah, okay. Simple mistake. This color only applies to text. Probably something I'd like to change um, in Kayak, but it's not my project. So now this is um, color, I think there's just a none. None. All right, you exist, you don't exist. Transparent. Bevy has the none. Come on, you just showed me this. see how that works. Editing UI and Kayak is a lot of um, waiting the time to recompile. I'd love to make a tool to um, run it in real time, and I might actually do that at some point. I'm going to be taking a plane in the next upcoming days, and it would be, it could be interesting to, you know, code on the plane and just see what I can get done. I'm still drinking my coffee at almost noon. So I kind of don't know if I like the transparent button. Uh, let's keep it colored for now, but it's nice to know we can do that. Uh, let's just do something gentle gray. Okay. Oh, alpha one. <clears throat> okay. Um, so we have the image handle. I'd love for it to stretch and fill the entire thing. Wow, this video might be boring if I'm just sitting here and compiling for the entire episode. I guess that's kind of what it is. Um, so why? Oh, full screening is a mistake. Oh, that means these are globally positioned is inconvenient. Oh, and I made them tall. I should have made them shorter. Why is, why are the tools, let me resize mode. So I want to make these both 50 and it'd be nice if 
the tools were set to stretch to fill their container. So what would I do to make them stretch? The inner padding between the edges of this widget and its children. Agreed. Whiff and height. I could just set the whiff and height. Maybe if I made the whiff and height stretch. Oh, okay. Now we're just seeing how the layout engine. Let me out of this. Oh, am I in a loop? What is going on? Um, let's make a style for the image. We get to see how the layout in engine responds to us doing crazy stuff. Also, I'm, I don't know why I'm in such an apologetic mood. I feel like I just haven't uh, done as much as I should recently. Uh, I don't know if I want to copy this styles. Why would I want to copy this styles? Um, but I apologize if this is uh, a bit boring or if I sound low energy today. It's been a very busy uh, week. Well, colon, colon, dot, dot. This is a thing, isn't it? Import default? Buffet prelude default. Oh, we're not importing the prelude. Ah, because it would collide with everything in Kayak. Fair enough. Mm, let's add style here. As some um, image style. Ah. It's also been so long since I've just programmed. I don't think I wrote a line of code all week after the game jam. Oh, I also am probably gonna put out a game jam video. My trick, I don't know if I said this already, my trick is gonna be I'm gonna try to queue up a couple of videos to try to mask the fact that I'm uh, unable to work for the next probably week and a half on this channel. So I'm hoping to grind out some videos today and tomorrow. Um. So let's see, what was I trying to do with this image? Oh, I wanted to try not padding, but I wanted to set the width and the height to stretch. And it's not edge, it's just units. Cool. And then after this, I get to check the Discord, which I haven't even opened in four days. And Hopefully just get everything caught up and put together. Okay. I have changed nothing. I think I've made it worse. Why are these so small? Why? Okay, let's just set them to pixels. I wonder if it's something about this padding. If I just say these are 45. I know padding stretch one is how we're centering things. But we've already hard coded the pixel amounts and this game doesn't seem like it's intending to target resizing. Okay, well that's interesting. <laughs> kind of works, sure. And if I now make the button transparent, uh, I think it might actually look decent. Um, mm, okay. Uh, okay, let's go back to buttons or transparent. And I think that those images actually look correct now. Um, there is an interesting question of if we want pixels to always be the same size in the game, and if we want to enforce that. I think the answer is no, just because it's easier, but artistically it might make more sense and I wouldn't be opposed if someone submitted that as a pull request. Um, so we have the hand UI now, which has some nice UI props. Styles. UI props. Oh, this is a generic property. Wait, I'm down the rabbit hole. Oh, this just wraps over a style. Okay. Hmm. I haven't actually looked at this source code in detail. Get rid of this uh, info. And get rid of this info. And get rid of that system. And let's see. Is that BME Y? Cool. Um, hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, so here's here's this absolute positioning stuff. So these are all windows. Do they need to be windows? What if they were elements? Um, let's see. Let me think. Actually, let me get a Argo doc open. Oh, that's going to take some time. Hmm. These were windows. That means they have to have the text at the top, right? Oh, elements. So I can just do elements and contact styles. It's a 10 pixel padding. I don't care about that. So let's just change these over to elements. Yeah. Oh, but we lose positioning. Do we? How's this position even work? State position becomes pause, which becomes the offset. Um, let's see. What do we do with this offset? Oh, good grief. Position. What is offset used for? Anything? Offset is used to set the position. The position is used to set the offset. Oh, that's, okay, sure. So position just sets the left and the top to its value. And because draggable is false, it just, it just sets the top and left. Okay, fair enough. So let's go and let's say what uh, recipe pause, ah, good grief, recipe, pause. I was having lunch with people who were C programmers the other day and trying to pitch them on Rust. And they said Rust people were obnoxious. Don't really know if uh, that story has an end. It was just something that popped into my head. I just grabbed the correct one, recipe pause, and then my eyes are going cross-eyed. Inventory pause is uh, zero, zero for now. Oh, and there's also a new Rust version that actually gives us um, default enums, which is exciting because I think I've complained about that live on this channel. And this is hand pause, sure. And now let's create a recipe style which is going to be a kayak style. Interesting. Uh, naming. We do dot dot default uh, default. And what did I want? I wanted the left and top to be set to uh, recipe pause zero and recipe pause one. Beautiful. And then here I want, oh, good grief. I want, instead of recipe, I want it to be inventory. And then here, I want the same thing, but instead of inventory, I want it to be hand. Probably could have done this better. Um, hand, sure. And now, instead of windows, you are element with styles equal to some inventory style. Correct? Feels right. Paste, paste, delete, delete. This is the end of an element now. Paste, paste, delete, delete. And this is recipe. And this is um, hand style. I probably need to import an element. Beautiful. All right, what do we got? <laughs> I 
I think the problem... Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So the positioning is off by a weird way. Oh, I was holding down. It's all offset. Why would it all be offset? You set pause to be the position. Uh-oh. You didn't do something right. Zero, zero. Top left. Top left. What do you... Position type self-directed? <laughs> that sounds right. Yeah, I just needed to be touching this project um, because it's been, okay, what do you mean? I'm in Bevy, uh, this is what? On. Nope, position type. And uh, how would I, how would I know how to import this morpheme position type? That's inconvenient. Um, hmm. How do I? Let's uh, remove the prelude. Sorry, I I don't think I finished the sentence. Import that. Okay. Yeah, I just need to be touching this project. I think it's been 22 days since I last touched it, and so I need to just do a slow episode like this just to get, you know, warmed back up. I th that didn't change anything. Why are you... Okay. Something is different about window. So what, which one of you are magic? Or is it because it's all inside a clip? No, maybe. Padding, all five pixels. With height, stretch. I don't know what I'm doing. That was a loud car. Went by. <laughs> I feel bad because I literally just finished a video recommending kayak to everyone, and now I'm sitting here and struggling with it. Did I paste this in some random place? No, I didn't. Why are you so displeased with all of this? What, what's, what could you possibly not be happy about? Size not found in scope. Oh, well, great. Why'd you underline the whole thing? Uh, expected prelude bevy wreck found style prop. I disagree with that. Oh, because this is named kayak style. Sure. And if I put all of this into a clip... I can do that right here. Um, I also don't know why they put the Y on the end of style. And end my clip. Be happy. Import clip. No, not clip B even though you told me it's not going to compile. Uh, default. Sure. <clears throat> what else can I ramble about while I write code? Yeah, I guess this is just part of game development, is getting the UI and fighting with it. 
Why in the world does this not work anymore? There's some magic that Windows is doing to position itself. Right. Clip some clip styles. Clip some clip styles. Hmm. And then inside that we have a background. Title background styles. What is title background styles? Hmm. Title background style. Where you set nothing. Hold on. I'm losing my mind. Prop styles. What is this used for? What? Where does this actually get used? Anywhere? Oh, it's time to sit up. Okay. What am I what am I seeing? Is this actually just not used? Then where does no, it has to be used. Because this is the only place this stuff is ever looked at. Let me look very closely. Unless there's legitimately some magic that I have missed so far in Kayak, where the property styles ends up applying that wouldn't make sense. Unless, okay, is it prop field styles? What is prop field? Great. So apparently there is some magic that I don't understand. And it's probably with this um, option here. Also, probably gives us the children. Um, interesting. This doesn't answer the question, though, because even if this style is being applied, self directed should be correct. Left top with height. Max with max height. Size. Hmm. What am I looking at? Can I give an element a background color to see what I'm looking at? Uh, style prop value. I'm very tempted to do this off camera. This color is going to be the wrong color. Really dislike um, all the color collisions or all the name collisions. Uh, probably should just remove the um, import bevy prelude from here. What have I done? <sighs> Did I include color yet? Kayak color. Go to the top. Add this back. Take me back where I was. Just do it all with them. Uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. 7.0.4 uh, 1.0 Don't even know if this will work If not, I'll change it to a background instead of an element um, <laughs> Doesn't work Great Allow me to import a background. Hmm. 
Yeah, I really need to make a tool to let me edit this live. That's profoundly interesting. What does that even mean? Okay, I'm understanding. Hold on. I'm experiencing intelligence. Uh, so I need to set the max the max size. Let me uh, make this a bit transparent, just because it'll help. But yes, no, that doesn't that doesn't help that much. Why? 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 Okay, let's 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 make a nightmare. Um. Still, how are these laid out? But I do know now that it's stretching. Um, oh, it's noon. My phone just did its noon buzz. Because <laughs> why are recipes where they are? Is it this row style thing? This is um, profoundly interesting. So let's go grab that, uh, that size that I figured wasn't important. Let's do an inventory size just to get started. So in here, I want this to be like 70, 100, right? I hope I don't actually have to double book the height, width and height, and max width and max height, but just to reduce the number of compiles, let's go with that. Oh, that's where you want to be now? Oh, I guess that's where you already were. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking. So I think that's because I set your position to be zero. Uh, I think we have constants for these, by the way. Let me just check. We have height and resolution. So this is um, height. Uh, this is height. This should at least make it feasible to support um, other options. Why does that the dot not work when I tab to complete sometimes? Um, sure. So those are all positioned now. Let me grab this nonsense and bring it into our recipe. And I'm probably gonna change these into not magic numbers. I'm just playing around right now, I guess. Um, let's say I want this, oh, wait, hold on. Mm, okay, there is, there is a correct way to do this. I'm starting to understand. We actually don't want to just be hard positioning things. We want them centered and all that. Um, so th this is all good. We're just using it incorrectly. Interesting. Interesting. So I kind of don't want to be setting their positions, do I? I want, what do I want? Ooh. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Let's say if I remove these magical numbers. Uh, 
let's say inventory will be height, in fact, by height two. Should be the middle of the screen. And then I'll be able to shuffle names and shuffle things around. So there's that. But we have lost the crafting menu ah, because it's off the bottom of the screen. I understand what uh, with equal 100. Let's just set with for all of these. I'm riddling it out. I'm going to become a front end developer by the end of this, I swear. And now. Up here, I can subtract width from these that are on the bottom. And I would do the same for anything on the right side of the screen, which is you. Because positioning is the top left hand corner. You know? Things would be worse. Yeah, okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. And we can add padding in the future. Um, kind of, these are not being sorted. Are these being sorted? What, what behavior did I just see? So I picked you up. You go under, you go under. Grab that. I need the numbers next. Let's just set these to zero. We'll leave them around just so it's easy to um, visualize. So, hmm. These sizes should not matter. Dot, dot, dot. Still a bit of magic, but I'm happier with it. Um, so when we're rendering an item, We, we use the same item to render recipes, I believe. We have the kayak fonts, we do. So it'd be nice uh, to have this be item count. Messages. I hope they're not important. Oh, and I cleaned up the text. Import UI widgets text. Let's see just where that positions it. Good grief, it's already been 40 minutes of nothing. for this style. I don't know why I'm having so much anxiety today. I feel like I'm very, this is a very boring video. And I don't know if it's just because I'm so stressed or what, but I'm, I shouldn't have this much anxiety. This is my channel. And if people are interested in it and they made it 40 minutes in, that's, I'm not holding hostages. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Mm. 
padding between its children be nice if I could I want this in the bottom right corner so I think right is what I want to set style props uh, value uh, units pixels five and let's see if that actually puts it oh okay it's Now we can just set up a box to go around it. Oh, but these are, God, good grief. Hmm. Okay, first I want, I want to use our inventory box again, right, but we're making progress. So first we're swapping this to be the inventory position and you are the recipe position. Let me uh, bring back my colored boxes because I'm going to need them. Um, let's see. And this is going to be a row style now, and recipe will be a column style. The problem is. Recipes are going to start from the middle and work their way down. An inventory will start from the middle and lay itself out exactly how I'd want it to work. Why, why do recipes work so horrifically bad? Can I make more of these? How much does it take? Grab that. I think that's as many items as I can have in my inventory. Can I inventory add new item here? Oh, beautiful. Man, that, that works exactly how I want it. Why are you wrong? Hmm. Somebody decided something here. Now let me just take the one that works. I actually don't think that would be the problem, but it's different. That was the problem. How fascinating. So theoretically, I can add just a lot of recipes, right? For the same thing. If I, uh, to work. Maybe I want to uh, a bit extreme with how many of those I put in the book. But yeah, that seems to seems to work. I don't actually know if I want these. Hmm. I want recipe centered, but I don't think I want the inventory centered. It's not bad. I also can't tell if now putting the text is smushing the uh, the sprites. When I look close at my screen, it seems like it's one pixel for one pixel. Uh, actually, let me compare. It also looks like it might be pixel perfect compared to the game on this resolution. Or it's at least close enough that it doesn't look um, horrid. So, I think this is working. Okay, let's, uh, let's revert the recipes. Buy recipes. Hey, does anyone know why 
this stuff happens in Git and VS Code. It's not in my command line Git anywhere, and I don't know what causes it. So let's make those invisible again, and we're going to call this good UI. I kind of feel like I've made enough changes here for UI. Um, so this should be a pretty nice commit. Let me clean this stuff up. Just smash my keyboard and create messes. Name is never used. Uh, I'll allow dead code. That might be useful. Um, cool. Run it just to make sure. centered I don't think it is no the axe still starts at the top sure that's all I have the energy to do today for that um, UI improvements Still have some work to do. Beautiful. I hate that. Wow, that was miserable. Okay, let's do something fun. Let's um get the blood pumping. Let's actually do something. So what do we got? What do we got? I guess it's time to be able to place a campfire. It's time to be able to place a campfire. I've procrastinated on this long enough, and I think that was my goal, was I originally, in the very first video of this, I'm like, yeah, today, in two hours, we're gonna be able to place a campfire. And we all know that that now has taken significantly longer, but I did go on a couple of side tracks. So let's see. I don't want to spawn fires anymore, but this is the start. <clears throat> and I probably, now that I've done more with um, graphics, I probably would change how I do this. But for now, let's just carry on. So first I want to spawn a sprite bundle. I want to actually spawn the campfire sprite here in the test code. And then we can move it to actually do it on player click. So how do I how do I spawn items in this game? Um, hmm. Where do we uh, where do we spawn a map? Help! Item. Ah. Okay. World object as a spawn. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Needs graphics. Position. And a self and a world object. So world object. Campfire. Camp. Fire. Right? Okay. And now fire graphics, it's gonna, how does this work? Uh, let fire equal world object. Can't fire. What, dot spawn? What does it mean to impl for uh, an enum? Spawn to grow. Oh, there's a grow. Did, oh, did I write this? Oh, I did write this. Okay. Hold on. I'm not an idiot. I promise. I know what I'm doing. 
Target object that spawn. Okay. Okay. So let's see. We do that spawn. Definition fam dot spawn BS. Sorry, I shouldn't curse. Um which needs commands, graphics, and a position. Sure. Well, you can have yourself some commands. I can get you some graphics. Probably. And I probably can get you a position. Did I delete the position? No, it's default. Uh, vec2, line zero. Oh, vec2 zero, right? Beautiful. What are you, why are you not happy? Import create prelude everything. What are we doing not including our prelude everywhere? I need to go rework that. I have a lot of cleanup I need to do. I also hope I've been talking loud enough. I just felt like I got quiet. Uh, there's something wrong with my brain. So I'm, I knew I was missing an ampersand here. I don't know why I had to go check that. So this should spawn a campfire. And then here I want to insert that it is in fact a campfire. Let's delete these. Right? I don't need ID. And is this actually what it means to create a campfire? Oh, I built the docks a long time ago. Hmm. That's inconvenient. Ah, uh, because uh, fire, it's not, a, it's not a real thing, is it? Probably can't spawn that, huh? Stump? What am I looking at? Oh, fire? It's an item, but it's... Okay, so the fire item and the world campfire are different. Like... Those are just intrinsically different things. What are we not happy with? Resource requested does not exist. Graphics. Okay, sure, sure. Because that's on startup. When do we add the graphics? Hopefully it would be in pre-startup. System, uh, load graphics, on exit splash. Uh oh, are we using Bevy asset loader? We are. So this also needs to be on exit splash. Sure. This is a temporary function. That's system set. System set on exit game state splash with system. Sounds right to me. Is it not called game state? It is. Did I not already do import prelude all? Sorry to change that. You still not happy. Task has failed. Task has failed. You can't. Oh good. Okay. This bonfire does not exist. E sure. Yeah, okay. On enter what, main. Those are happening in parallel. 
<sighs> okay, well that's a well, that's a campfire. At some point we need to get um hitboxes and whatnot. So now I also like I wanna be I have a lot of dreams. Be nice to mouse over this and get a pop-up of what you need. Oh right now it's just free. Okay. So that's a campfire. Let's just make it default strength like seven. So it'd be nice. Ooh, okay. So when you craft a campfire, it shouldn't go into your hand. It should be like stuck to your mouse. Until you left click. You can't you can't have a fire in your inventory. Okay. So what would that mean? So if you can't have a fire in your inventory, then it's not really an item type. It's a different thing. It's a world object. It's not actually an item type. This is not actually an item. This is a world object. Thank you, past me. Sprite's risk. Let's, uh, let's fix that. And I'm willing to bet this doesn't compile. Uh-oh. We've got things being checked at runtime, which is suboptimal. Oh, because it doesn't know that we tried to craft a campfire. Huh. Okay. So, I know why that crashed. It's in crafting. When we load the crafting book, we load out these crafting recipes. Which takes item and count and produces a world object. Which could be an item. Craft item. Is that the only place this complains? Sure. So. Oh, good grief. Find the recipe to craft. Is the crafting book. Wait, what am I reading? I. Right. So, craft item is an event reader for a UI craft event. Then we get the player inventory. And we check for the recipes and we find the recipe that produces. I don't feel like this feels like it's a bit more than is actually needed here. But we find the recipe that produces that item. So the craft event produces an item and a count. I disagree. This produces a world object. Because you can only make one of them. Right? Oh, where was this used? Hmm. I. This I. Oh, world object. So I need a different match arm here. Hmm. Which? Where? What do we use this for? Find all references. Item and count. count. Ooh, okay, so I can just return none. I can return item and count. Item, colon, item, type none. But your count will be one. You can only craft one of an item at a time. I'm fine hard encoding that. I actually probably don't even want the text printing. Anyway, I don't want the text printing on recipes because it's just implied you craft one. Cool. So. Okay, hold on. 
Oh, so this craft event gives a world object. And you produce a world object. Correct. So why don't you compile? No valid field item on item. That's sure. Because you only produce one of them. So now I have the correct crafting recipe. If the ingredients are available and uh, recipe to craft dot produces is item. What would that mean? Is that world object item dot dot says Just say um, match on recipe to craft dot produces, and we can clean this up later. But for now, all of this code is only true if it's an item. So let's say. Um, world object, item, item, correct? Right, missing match room, beautiful. Otherwise, you're not making an item meet out of this hell. And we need to do something new. Actually, guys, one format. Item. Item. So we're crafting an item, otherwise, making something placeable. So, I want to say if the inventory is available, and I want to remove the ingredients. If you have the item, oh, okay, hold on. I need to speak while I write this. Okay, so if. If we're making something placeable, I still want to make sure you have the items you need, and I want to remove them from your inventory. And then, oh sure, let's grab this else block. Uh, not enough items. And now I need some new magical system. Why are you not compiling? Oh, what am I looking at? Do I items get crafting items? UI items. UI items. What are UI items? Crafting items are vec of world object. And item. What? Item. Hold on. UI items. It's a vec of world object. So, oh, I, I, 
Let me rename this. Nope. Crafting items. Crafting items. And we iter and we map and for every item. We don't need to unwrap. Why was this unwrapping in the first place? There's no option here. Ooh, I understand. That's the option. <sighs> cool. Um, so now the UI should work once again. We need an item that's following the cursor. Okay. So that's something to do with the player, I guess. Hmm, okay. I guess it's a resource, let's just make it a resource. Um, Hubstrut, what, placing? This will never be um, multiplayer, I don't think. Or if it is, we'd have to restructure enough of it that it doesn't matter. Uh, object, turn optional resource in Bevy. Even if there's one thing such as a player, it can be a good fit to use an entity instead of resources. Uh, sure, yeah, I agree. Object in hand. Mm, place placeable ghost. I don't know if this actually needs to be a resource. Ooh, ow, give me a minute. just cramped my leg. Um, what does this look like? I guess it's a component that I can add and remove. I've been resisting removing components, but let's, let's not overcomplicate this. I'm still cramping, which we'll have. Um, to place, which is a world object. And so then, let me craft, I'm gonna give the player a world object. Uh-oh. So we mutate the inventory. This is called from somewhere, mm. isn't it? It is. I'm gonna mutate the player. Maybe, okay. I actually don't wanna mutate the player. I want to mutate, uh, the player can always have one of these ghosts. Uh, go, what did I, placeable ghost. I don't want to take it away from the player. Where do I break this down? Uh, mute, placeable, ghost. I'll just call it ghost. And we'll work out, this is actually only called 
are you upset about here now? Dude, stuff breaks in the weirdest places. Oh, crafting item just produces um, just what it produces. We'll figure out where this crafting thing is called from in the future, I'm sure. Uh, so ghost now. Let's see. Two place. Make it an option. This makes sense to be an option. So we've successfully done it. So ghost dot place equals sum uh, produces recipe to craft dot produces what in the world did I name this what is wrong with my brain same two place oh does it need to be public sure um, so we have a recipe to craft which produces and we set it to a ghost, which is all this probably needs to do. And let's spawn the player and give it a placeable ghost with none. Uh, two place, none. And. Um, let's see. Uh, we need to build it. So let's import, uh, create, preload. Let's import bevy preload. Let's go to where do we do that in this game? I guess we mod everything here. Mod, uh, build. Let's uh, create a pub strut building plugin. We're gonna info plugin for building plugin. Hello? Is there something wrong with my brain? There is. What, what is going on? Use, use. And here, we're gonna have an app dot add system build ghost. Well, and build ghost here needs definitely commands and graphics. And uh, graphics, res graphics. It's also going to need the player, which will be a mutable query for the placeable ghosts. Let's just, ah, that, that should only ever be on the player. So let uh, ghost equal player dot single mute. We also want, do we have mouse position? What oh, we do, dealish. Uh, we also want um, mouse input, which is a resource of input type mouse button and mouse position which is a resource of mouse position. Single. And let's see if mouse button dot just pressed, mouse button left. And ghost that is some. 
Pot two place. Mouse input. Then I would like to do our graphics. Uh, spawn fire somewhere. Which now needs a mutable reference to this and a reference to the graphics and mutable reference to active fires. Uh, it'd be nice to not need active fires here, uh, but for the future. Let's just get this working. Okay, can we format, please? Is that too much to ask? Thank you. Um, I'd like to spawn a fire. Which means I need mute active fires, which will be a res mute of active fires. Yeah, I really don't want to have to have this here. Like, very aggressively don't. Hello? What do you... Move on use parameter? It's not unused. Sure. Uh, what are you unhappy about? Yeah, you're you're done being a system now. Okay. Spawn fire. Uh, also needs the position, which is a vec two. position. And now building, theoretically, mouse position dot position. Not zero. Why not? Actually, pound derive deref. Feel like my tool is working, which means I don't need this dot zero. I don't believe. Active fires. Star star. I don't know if that's any better than dot zero, but whatever. Uh, and ghost dot two place. Uh, equals none. If uh, match ghost dot two place and then uh, world object campfire, we will do this. Otherwise, we will panic. Unreachable, other placement not implemented. Even though it should be trivial to do. Interesting decision. Uh, we're just going to unwrap. What are we displeased with? Cannot borrow as mutable. Something strange is happening here. 
uh, because it's already immutable. And let's see. Theoretically now, when I click on the campfire, it should give me one. Unknown variant tool. Uh, unknown variant tool. You can tell me where you're not happy? Is that actually all you have to say about that? Download config. Download config. Expected item, tree, stump, sapling, dead sapling. I disagree. Somewhere. Tool. Uh oh. Tool. Tool. Did I delete this? Uh oh. Unknown variant fire. I'll agree with that. This is now called Campfire because for some reason I just changed the name. Called Unwrap on a Nun. How interesting. Item. World object to handle. Graphics. Hmm. Because uh, graphics, I probably image map. Image map goes from world access to that. And it's set up down here. And we found the graphic for campfire. Okay, let's print out what item is. I hope I can print here. Probably can't, can I? Hmm. Uh, sure. Please work. Tool X. You're not happy about tool X. Saying that's not present. Rights description, item tool, axe. Oh wait, oh wait, oh, 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 I understand, I made a mistake. I made a bad mistake. Item type is tool. So what? Something is wrong in a different place. Unknown variant tool. In 
fail to load config. So why do we fail to load config? Hmm. Let's just narrow this down. Ah, okay, it was this one. So the crafting book contains the crafting descriptions. Ah. So crafting descriptions. Recipes. Item and count twig. Use item tool, item tool. So I think it's item that I'm missing on these. Beautiful. Haven't even added this plugin to main. Um, it'd be nice to visualize it. Beautiful. Add system set system set on update game state main with system. Might be nice um, actually to just add an empty graphics. Wonder if that hurt anything. Probably would. Ooh. Hey. Right. It's a little buggy. Why are these getting their strength set to two? I set you to seven, don't I? Why is it buggy? Ah, what in the world? Um, position, right? If I just click, it doesn't happen. So it'd be nice to have a ghost to show that I'm doing this, but I am in fact able to place campfires. And I can place pretty well an, an unreasonable number of them. So however we're doing the graphics seems to be working. Uh, I'm gonna say this is pretty good. So let's actually make the recipe require something, which we'll need uh, to steal straight from Don't Starve. We'll need two grass. Let's just make it need a grass and a wood. So let's grab that, Get ourselves an ax. Equip it, drop down some trees, grab some grass. Um, there is a problem. Well, I mean, kind of. We do need to use the world interaction on Kayak to make you not able to click through the UI. 
and double place your campfires. It still has a bit of work, but I don't think anything that needs work is untenable for now. And we'll have a day-night cycle and whatever. But for now, I actually kind of think this is good. It would be great to gray out the UI. Um, now it's at notes. Uh, to do's. Uh, day night. Uh, ghost for placeable object. Uh, world interaction on UI, which is easy, I think. Um, I guess I could put these in the readme. Um, what else do we want? And these are all open pull requests if anyone wants to contribute. Uh, goes for placeable UI, world interaction, uh, gray out impossible crafting recipes, uh, boxes around inventory slash crafting, uh, inventory in a fixed place on screen not moving. Well, I guess we pick up more things as we pick up more things. What else? I think that's enough. Cool. But I think I'm actually really happy now. I think I'm experiencing joy. Uh, so yeah, I can... Oh! Uh, hover to see crafting needed ingredients. Yeah, you can now get the stuff to make an axe. You can equip an axe. You can cut down trees. You can grab some grass and some wood. And you can build campfires. That is, that was the original goal of this project. I'm definitely going to continue it, but I'm actually really, really happy with um, the fact that we made it this far. We need hit boxes on stuff. We need all kinds of crazy things, but uh, yeah, sure. Let me add uh, big stuff. Big stuff I'd kind of like to try, but if people make pull requests, I'll gladly import it and, you know, tweak it. So we need world generation, we need uh, health, stats, we need enemies, what else, combat, don't know what that looks like, I need to make a design doc for this game, uh, because now I feel like we actually have the base of a game and it's time to add content. World generation, health stats, enemies. What else did I just say? Uh, hand torch, which would be easy. Yeah. Oh, collisions. Here on physics. Cool. Ooh, I touched literally everything. Added build. Changed how crafting worked. Changed how spawning fires works. Fixed how the UI works. Changed that. The book now uh, just creates world objects in one of them. It resolved to fix me. Add a new plugin. Deref, who cares? And we made placeable. Which, hindsight, I kind of don't want placeable there. I want placeable in our new build fun or file. So, come with me. And you'll see 
beautiful. No placeable ghost in player. And I'll just import that here. Private strut is imported. <laughs> what am I looking at? Private strut. You're not private, you're public. Please. Oh. Fred is not happy about that, are you? Alright, and let's get Clippy happy. Glad to not need that. And somewhere the number I, I is not being used. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Format, ship it. Able to place campfires. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, so, so it's almost, or it's an hour and 40 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm very happy with the progress we made today. The first 40 minutes of UI, I hope people skip over the chapter that I'm going to put in the video because it was um, kind of a grind, but I like what we ended up with and it needed to be done. And I think the next video you'll probably see on this channel, I'm about to record right now, after I document all this, will be an overview of this project, um, which should serve as like a milestone that we can look at and um, like a way to help onboard new people, because I don't want you to have to watch the entirety of the series to get up to speed and able to contribute to this game. Because I think... I think we're through the dark times and it might be it'll slowly start getting easier to add more and more unrelated systems and just like crazy stuff and I'm very excited to see any pull request that adds just out of the blue like stats to the player day night cycles different things to craft soon we'll figure out how to do enemies I think I think this will become a game that people can easily contribute to and I'm excited to see it grow. So I think that's going to be it for me today. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to be secretly gone for the next like two weeks, but I'm hoping to have a video on the game jam out. I'm hoping to have the overview of this out. This video is coming out when I'm secretly gone. Um, and one other one, game jam, this video overview of this project. Yeah, that's probably enough. I don't have time to do more than that, but yeah, that's my my ambition. We'll see how it goes. I am feeling better now that I've programmed for two hours, but it's time to get back into video editing and then packing. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, invite to the Discord in the description. A huge thank you to my Patreons. I will try to remember to edit in your names at the end of this video. Um, but you know who you are, and I really appreciate you, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.